Hello, um, my name's Peter Scully, I'm representing Just Lead. <coughs> what I want to do today is show you what we've supplied to roofers and builders and the like, an item called Dormer Corners. Um, unfortunately, things are changing and everything's got to be turned into money and you've got to do the job really quick. So I think this may help you. So I'm just going to talk you through it. What we want to do is weather this area on a dormer, could be a chimney, could be anything. Might be a new job, might be a refurbishment, might be an insurance claim. All sorts of people need roofing doing. Well, I've got in a piece of code 4 lead, it's been pre-formed, put it up there for weathering this area. When we come to the corners, we make items called dormer corners. They come in pairs, there they are. And what I'm going to do is fit one. There we go. It's like what we call a bent soaker. Again, it's code four. That's fitting. Now, in this particular case, I'm not going to nail it, but you get a stainless steel or a copper nail, fix it, job done. So it doesn't take a lot longer to fit than an actual slate. Now the next thing you're going to do is fit what we call soakers. And this is a soaker. Now this is code 3 lead, you can tell that with a green. It's slightly thinner. And the reason it can be thin is because they're only small items. You have 100 mil on the flat and 75, 80 mil on the vertical. And that will fit here. Like the slate, this will be cut off and trimmed, but that's where it's going. Now before we get too far, um, a lot of people seem to have trouble understanding soakers and the solids. I'd like to explain something to you. To decide the length of a soaker, i.e. how long you're going to make them, what you do, you add the lap and the gauge, and we used to add an inch for nailing, or 25 feet for nailing, but in this case, it won't matter. And I'm just going to describe it. The lap is the area where this one that goes on here is lapping over that one underneath. There's three layers, if you can imagine that, where there's three layers, at that point, it's the length of that. That's called Now in this case that's 100 mil, and in a lot of cases it's 100 mil. It might be slightly less, could be more. But whatever your lap is, remember. The next thing is the gauge, and the gauge is the distance you put your battens up. Now if you measure from that point to the top, it's 200 mil. If you measure from that point to the top, it's 200 mil, and so it goes up the roof. However, you can measure from there to there, it's 200 mil. There and there, 200 mil or centre to centre, it doesn't matter, it's always going to be, provided you, if you're from bottom to bottom, it's, and that's called the gauge. Now, in this particular case, from there to there, it's 200 mil. Now, you won't need a degree in mathematics, you can just add that one to that one, and the answer comes to 300 mil. And if we measure that, that's what we've got on now. Now what I'm going to do is fit some soakers. Now we spoke about the lap, gauge, sometimes this is referred to the dry, they call it the dry, different parts of the country they get different names. I'll take my glasses off, so you can see me. Right, there we go. So, we've got a soaker. Now, I'm going to run that right the way down over this point. Um, 
all I need to do, really, to neaten it up, I'll just cut a piece off. A bit like that. Now because this is a model, I haven't made them any longer there, that's where it goes. I've got me cover there. All I'm going to do is just put a tack in there, stop it sliding down. Just stops it moving. Now we're going to put the slate in. Now, again, because this is a model, I'm not going to put nails in this slate because I want to take them off later on um, and get this thing out of my yard. So I just put a little screw in there, just rolled it. Okay, now what we need is another soaker. Four inches out, three inches up, or if it's a new money, 100 mil, or about 75, 80 mil. Here's our line look. If you're not sure, there's your straight, this is where you're going to finish. Keep it back, probably an eighth of an inch back. There it is. Once I know I'm in the right position, all I've got to do is put a nail in. And we want another tile, a slate rather. There it is. I'll fix it back in. See what I mean? <coughs> All these really are are like bent slates. That's the easy way to describe them. I think all that noise is a bit too much, so I'm going to. I won't put a nail in this one. I'm going to screw it. This ain't what you'd be doing, but it's easy for me. too much we do one more soaker and that'll do you wouldn't We sell soapers as well in packs of 10, so that might be useful for you. And that's it. Ready for another soaker? recap a little bit on what we've introduced here. The dormer corners, they're nice and quick and easy, you sell them, whatever you want. We've put the through, we've got our clips going over here, 
Now when you come to, um, to do these, you've got your clip there, what we normally do is mark on with something. Back at fags, if you smoke, I mean you blokes are probably use a 20 pound note, you know, you can give it a couple of folds for it. There you go. There you go. They're all readily available, aren't they? Put it on there, look. And then, come along with your snips. So they're all looking the same and neat. Here's a posh job. I normally give that a little cut on the corners. There are occasions when these don't line up, you just put a straight edge through there, cut it off first and then put your clips through. Well, thanks for joining me. Um, we're going to get back to work here at Just Lead and we'll catch you again. I will be producing another video about what we, or what we used to do when we were putting in uh, valleys and especially the ends of the valleys. So that'll be another film that we'll put on YouTube. Thank you very much.